Hello my dearest WordPress lovers, it's so good to see you again and in today's tutorial we will be creating a quiz by multiple categories that is going to show and display results by its categories. I promise that as always it is going to be super quick and easy, so stay tuned, let's start! So I have pre-made a quiz so that you will not spend, we will not spend extra time on setting up all the questions. So the quiz, as you have already seen in the demo version, is going to be an English uh, level test. It is going to have three main categories, grammar, spelling, listening and reading. So let's first go through all the main um, tabs that we will be using today in order to um, get the final result. So first, in order to categorize your questions and your quiz, you need to create question categories, right? For that, go to the question categories tab from the Quizmaker submenu. And as I've already said, I created pre-made um, categories. However, let's create one uh, together so that you know how um, it is exactly done. So for the title, um, you need to write listening. Um, and then in the description, if it's a listening, of course, uh, in the description, you can write your um, category description if needed and you need to set uh, the status to published uh, so that it will be shown in your questions tab and after you're done just click save and close and create as many categories as you wish i have uh, set up here the main categories which are listening reading and grammar spelling and now let's um, continue with creating the questions in order to insert them into our quiz. So once you click on add new, you can see here that we have the, all the settings, the general settings and the question settings. Here you need to write down your question. For example, uh, let's do one from grammar, right? What? Let's uh, leave here some blank spaces you doing so um, it is going to be with the question type radio and we will write down the answers right here and you can write down three options usually um, all the like quizzes go with four options but it's up to you for example R is was and am and here you also need to set the right answer so that the system will be able to uh, calculate all the points correctly. So here in our case, we have the correct answer right here, R. And now let's choose the category which it is going to fall under. So here we have the question categories um, function and we have to choose grammar which we pre-made already and this is it uh, you just need to click save and close or save and new if you are going to create a new one and let's move forward to our quiz making okay 
So to start creating the quiz, let's go to the quizzes tab from our quiz maker sub menu and um, to set up a new quiz from scratch you need to click on add new but I have pre-made one and we will just look into the one I have made here we have the general settings in the general settings you have to configure the basic quiz settings so the first is the title of course you need to write down a title and then we have a description this is totally up to you you can either just leave it blank or write down the corresponding oh here is a spelling okay or write down the corresponding one and uh, then you can choose a quiz category, which again you can um, set up uh, from your quiz settings. And let's start um, with the questions. So in order to uh, make, your, make your quiz, you need to add questions. Here we have 21 items. In order to add a question, you need to click on add questions. And then you can make it easier for you by choosing category. For example, if I'm going to choose the category grammar spelling, I'm going to have all the questions here that are already inserted and the ones that I missed out, uh, you just check the question and then click on select question and this is it, you are all set. Okay, so the next uh, tab is the styles. However, we're not going to go through the style section this time. Let's head right into the important configurations for a quiz with different result categories. So here, uh, of course, there are many functionalities that you can check out yourself, but let's speak about the question bank. So you need to enable question bank, first of all, and after you need to choose by category so that all your questions will come by categories. And uh, for example, you have six questions um, in the grammar spelling category, right? In order to bring them forward randomly, you can set a number so that each time the user uh, enters to pass the quiz, there is the random questions from this category uh, to this number. So every time we are going to pass the quiz, we will see only three grammar and spelling questions uh, randomly from the whole overall six. So I hope it was clear. And here we do not have any other um, functionalities that are like mainly important for the quiz that we are making. So this is it in the settings section. Now let's move forward to our result settings, which is the most important one. Uh, so make sure that your score is set by correctness and then we have, um, you can display the score by percentage or by correct answer count or by waypoints. And then moving forward, we can see that here we have the result message. So um, using the result message, we are going to get the results by categories. Um, this is going to be done via message variables, which you can see in the um, clicking right here, as it is mentioned, or you can go to the general settings and find the message variables tab from the general settings. Here we have the message variables. So in order to display the results by categories, we need to find the message variable that is called the result by cats. You can see that it has the explanation right in front of it, the score of the quiz by a question category which got the user. So we copy this um, message variable and then all we need to do is paste it right here. Uh, you can see that I have used some other message variables such as uh, the username so that each time um, the user gives its name in the um, quiz you can mention the name um, and you can mention the quiz name and also I have the score variable which is going to show the overall score of your uh, user but the important one which we need to use in order to get the desired result is this one right here um, 
So after you are done, you can also write a design a message that you desire and you need to click on you need to click on save and you are all set. In order to view your quiz, you need to copy the given shortcode and paste it in a post or page. For that, go to the posts from your WordPress dashboard and then click on add new, paste the shortcut of your quiz, click on save and voila! So this was pretty much it for our tutorial. I hope it was as easy as I have promised. And for now, I know I look like I'm going to ask you to buy a merch, but no. All I'm asking you is to leave a like, subscribe, hit your notification bell. Also, do not forget to share your ideas in the comment section down below. And see you next time. Bye!